everybody rookie and handicapping thoroughbred racing on tax day sunday april the 15th and this is my equibase winter circle east coast racing report let's go to the big a aqueduct race course ozone park new york for their featured race three today 1 52 p.m eastern post time this is the action stakes nine furlong route test on the dirt track four-year-olds and up race for seventy five thousand dollars contenders number two eight too fast to catch number six tech fall number one inherit the gold and number four thunder lord number two eight too fast to catch is one of an impressive four or six starts to date racing at or about today's distance to nine furlongs on the dirt has produced power run performances in five straight including a trio of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency jockey sheldon russell and trainer thomas albertrani sent them to the post they've hit the board with 54 percent of their entries saddled as the team to date Number six, Tech Ball, has hit the board in four of his last five adventures overall, winning twice, including a power run win his last time out. Race three summary, number two, eight too fast to catch, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number six, Tech Ball, number one, Inherit the Gold, and number four, Thunder Lord, two, six, one, four, and the third from Aqueduct, the $75,000 action stakes. Let's go to Keeneland next for their feature, race 8, 4, 42 p.m. Eastern post time. This is the Beaumont Stakes. It's a seven furlong sprint on Keeneland's cushion track, grade two, three-year-old fillies. Race for $150,000. Contenders number six, Sacristi. Number three, Livy McKenzie. Number five, Gypsy Robin. And number two, Pishkasha. Number six, Sacristi, the overall speed and pace profile leader in the stakes field, sprinting at today's specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in each of her last five, including back-to-back -back power run wins at her second and third races back. Jockey Julian Leparo and trainer Wayne Catalano have sent her poster this afternoon. They've hit the board with an even 50% of their entry saddles the team to date. Number three, Livy McKenzie has also hit the board in five straight, winning twice, including a power run win in her second race back. Race eight summary, number six, Sacristi, tops my contenders list today here at Keeneland, which also includes number three, Livy McKenzie, number five, Gypsy Robin, and number two, Pishkasha. That's 6352 in the eighth from Keeneland, the $150,000 grade two Beaumont stakes. Let's go to Pimlico next for race eight. 4, 26 p.m. Eastern post time, 8.5 furlong route test on the dirt track. Phillies and mares, 3 years old and up. Race for an allowance prize of some $35,000. Contenders number 3, Universal Language. Number 7, Melrose Woods. Number 1, More Than a Cruise. And number 5, Star on her shoulder. Number 3, Universal Language. Qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony. Takes a class drop. Has hit the board in power run fashion and five straight, including a trio of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number 7, Melrose Woods. The overall speed leader in this allowance field. Racing at or about today's distance of 8.5 furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in both of her two career starts to date including a power run win to break her maiden, facing slightly better company in her first asking. Race 8 summary here at Pimlico, number 3, Universal Language, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number 7, Melrose Woods, number 1, More Than a Cruise, and number 5, Star on Her Shoulder, 3715, in the 8th today from Pimlico. Bonus long shots, Woodbine, race 7, the 6-1 to one shot, number 6, Hanks Hill, Takes a class drop of four units. Is the speed leader in this allowance field, sprinting at seven furlongs on the cushion dirt. Hawthorne, race two, the five to one shot. Number five, expensive eight. Is a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier. Takes a class drop of four units. Comes off a power run place finish in her last start, missing a circle trip in that race by just the length and a determined attempt to break her maiden. So handicapping from the Big A, Aqueduct, Keeneland, and Pimlico on tax day. Sunday, April the 15th, Rick Deaton for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always, please bet with your head, not over it.